This is Lineage OS on our HTC One M8. After much delay, we were finally able to get this tutorial done. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Just like any other tutorial, let's talk about the prep. Grab any computer running Windows 10, a micro USB cable, and your HTC One M8. An SD card, just to be safe, make sure your HTC One has at least 60% battery life, and make sure you do have an internet connection. We do need to download things, but before we dive into this tutorial, let's check out the reason why this video kept getting delayed. Go to the htcdev.com website, link is in the description below, and make sure the site is up. If the site is up, make sure you can successfully sign up for an account. When I first set out to do this, I never received the verification email to set up my account. After a couple of months back and forth with the HTC support team, they reached out with an update of the site being fixed. I went ahead, signed up for an account, and logged in. The reason we need this in the first place is because we need to unlock our bootloader. This important step is the reason why this video kept getting delayed. There is a paid version through an app called Sunshine. It's about 25 USD to unlock, but I don't really trust it. I tried rooting the device to unlock it that way, but that was unsuccessful. Unfortunately, if that verification email never comes out, you're stuck with a paperweight. I would suggest trying another email out first, but if that doesn't work, the site could be broken again. I would suggest reaching out to the HTC support team. You can do this by going on to the HTC site itself and then following through their support team there, as there's no way to directly contact the HTC dev support team. All right, with that big headache being out of the way, we can get on with downloading our tools and files. Quick disclaimer, I'm not responsible for any loss of data or breaking of your device. As this device is 12 years old, I think it's okay to avoid any non-existent warranty, and I would recommend creating a backup of your device if you want. Move any files off of it, either through the SD card or the USB, as we're formatting the device, and again, I'm not responsible for any loss of data. This tutorial does not limit you to just Lineage OS. Most things in this tutorial will be the same for whichever OS you choose. Just make sure that you go to the XDA forums on the HTC page to see the best compatibility for that specific OS. Now, certain things may not make sense in the order we do, but ultimately it will work all together in the end. I will have two links down in the description below. The first is gonna be an XDA guide. Even though this guide is on the older side, it still goes out into detailed written steps on how to flash the HTC One M8. The second is the Wiki Lineage OS guide. This wiki is where we're getting most of our links from. And it's gonna ask to build it yourself. Don't worry about that. We're just gonna download something else. So without further ado, click on installation. Make sure we have ADB and Fastboot downloaded. All right, so normally you're able to get the download links from the wiki link. Sometimes they pop up, sometimes they don't. But if you go to the search bar and you type in using ADB and Fastboot, it brings you to this page and you're able to download the ADB and Fastboot files. Now we can do this by just hitting this download the windows zip from google it's going to download this platform tools file we don't have to do all this since we're just going to be doing it in the shell so once that's downloaded exit out create a basic folder on your desktop i'm going to call it htc this is where we will put all of our files that we need open that go to your downloads folder and bring in our platform tools don't forget to extract them here and here's our adb and fastboot Next, we need to go to our phone and enable developer settings. On your phone, go to settings. About device. Software information. More and tap the build number around seven times until you see it's been enabled. Go back to your main settings page, scroll down and there's our dev settings. Click on that, scroll down until you see USB debugging and enable that. Click OK and plug your phone into your computer. When it asks to allow USB debugging, click Always Allow This Computer and click OK. Now that we have USB debugging enabled, we can actually get on with setting this up. There are two ways we can do this next step. First is going back to your computer, connect your phone, tap Allow, and open up Command Prompt as an admin. CD into the folder of your ADB run the following command, adb-d reboot bootloader. If you're having troubles with the adb tools, 
I suggest using another USB cable or USB port. Or you can turn your phone off by pressing hold the power button. And then once the phone's off, press and hold the volume down and power button until you get to the recovery screen. Now this may take a few tries, so don't worry about it if you don't get it on the first try. On command prompt, type in fast boot devices. And we can see that our HTC device is in fast boot mode. Now everyone's identifier key is going to be different. So we can't share identifier key tokens to actually get the unlock, which is why we needed our own account on htcdev.com. Type in fast boot OEM get underscore identifier underscore token. And here is our identifier token. Now it tells you to please cut out the following message. We just need from here to here, the identifier token start and finish. So just copy it open up a notepad and just kind of take this out anywhere that says bootloader. So take this, go back to that HTC dev website that we have open, hit unlock bootloader, hit get started, select your device. We're going to be doing the HTC one M eight, begin unlock bootloader. Yes. We're voting our warranty after agreeing to the terms. And that's going to tell you actually how to get there, but we're already way past this. We've already gotten the fastboot OEM identifier token. We've cut out this entire section. Make sure we've included the start and end. And then let's paste our token here. Hit submit. And then we've been emailed our unlock key as an attachment file. Some people say it gets instantly delivered. Other people say it takes a little bit of time. So let's go check it out. Here's our inbox. If you scroll down a little bit, you can see the unlock code.bin file. That's what we need. All right. Ours was pretty much instant. It actually took me longer to log into my email than it was to actually get the unlock code. But now that we have it, let's go ahead and continue unlocking the bootloader. All right. So we have our unlock code. Now we need to type in fast boot flash unlock token and then where we have our bin. So I put mine in the HTC folder on my desktop. So again, let's type in fast boot flash unlock token, and then our directory to that unlock code bin. Now, because I put it in the HTC sub base directory and not the platform tools, I had to put the entire directory, hit the enter key when you're done, and it's going to restart the device. And now that that's done, we actually need to move over to the device and select yes to unlock the bootloader, just using your volume keys to do so. So remember we hit up and then that power button to start the unlock bootloader. Currently it's unlocking the bootloader. It will take a little bit of time. So during that, we can go over a few things. If you want to relock your bootloader, just type in fast boot OEM lock and then go through that similar process. This will not restore the factory default lock, but simply relock the bootloader. That's pretty much about it. And now that that's done, let's move on with the tutorial. Type in CLS to clear the screen. Currently we're just waiting for the device to finish restarting because we need to re-enable USB debugging. And once we re-enable USB debugging, we can actually move on to rebooting the bootloader once again. One thing I hope that gets fixed with this Lineage OS installation is actually the boot time. Now that the OEM unlock has finished, go ahead and reset up the phone. And then let's go ahead and re-enable developer settings to re-enable that ADB. Now we can get on with the tutorial. So just type in ADB-D reboot bootloader again. I accidentally had to reclick it, so I'll just do it again. Should reboot back into that bootloader settings. And then we're just gonna have to re-enable fast boot devices again. So I'll just type in fast boot devices, and then we're there. Sweet. So something we need to do first is actually installing our custom recovery on the second page here. You can actually just hit this download TWRP, and then you can just download the latest one. Once this downloads, hit keep. Now that we have this in our HTC folder, just rename it recovery.img. Type in fastboot flash recovery.img. If it doesn't find it, that's perfectly fine. Copy this, go back, and instead of putting recovery.img, put the directory that it is in, slash recovery.img. And now it's going to start writing the custom recovery. Shouldn't take too long. Now we just need to reboot into recovery. All right, just a fair warning. When you get to this step, do not follow this. Flash it with the flash recovery. Volume down to HT boot, click the power button, volume down to recovery and click the power button. Don't follow this. Now we can actually get to the next step to throw this in recovery. Now, something that's going to take some time is actually wiping the entire partition. Tap wipe, tap on format data, type in yes and click the enter button. And while this formats the data, 
we need to get the Lineage OS installation pack. We can easily do this by going to the Lineage OS ROMs website, link in the description below, and hit download latest build. And we don't have permission for it. Sweet. All right, well, go to the XDA forum and just download the ROM from here unless you're able to build your own. We're gonna grab this one. I will put the link in the description below. And wait for it to finish downloading. Copy it into your HTC folder and rename it to Lineage OS. Put it into our platform tools folder, which is why it can never find anything. And once it finishes removing the encryption and all the files stored in the internal data, return to the previous menu, tap advanced wipe, select cache and system partitions, and then swipe to wipe. Once the device has finished deleting its partition, go to the main page, tap advanced, tap ADB sideload, and swipe to begin sideload. This is gonna bring you to the sideload menu. Now you might have to stick on this page for a little bit for it to pop up, but after waiting a few seconds, just type in ADB-D sideload, and then your Lineage OS file. If sideload isn't working like it shows here on the screen, copy the Lineage OS zip to an SD card, plug it into the phone, back out to the main menu, Click on install, tap on select storage, click on your SD card, hit close, install zip, tap lineage OS, and then swipe to flash. Now there's two more things I wanna cover before we do our initial boot. The first is gonna be installing the Google Apps add-on package, and the second is going to be rooting our device. Now, both of these we do need our SD card for and our computer. We do need to make sure we do these before we initially boot our device. On screen here are gonna be two timestamps. The first is gonna be if you don't care about the Google Apps add-on package and the root. And the second one below it is gonna be just straight into rooting the device. All right, let's install the Google Apps add-on package using the ARM architecture. It's not gonna be for Lineage 17, it's not gonna be for Lineage OS 19. So click on here, scroll down till you see Lineage OS 19. We're gonna download the first one for the ARM architecture, download the zip file, and put it onto your SD card. Now take your SD card, unmount it, plug it into your computer, Put the zip file on there, just like we did the Lineage OS. And then plug it back in. Go to mount. Unmount your SD card and remount it. And then go to install and the zip file should be right there. Tap on it. Slide to flash. And then wait till it finishes flashing. Now if you don't grab the correct zip file, it's not going to install correctly. So make sure you grab the correct one on the ARM architecture. Make sure it's for Lineage OS 19, which is Android 12. Once that's done, you're good to go. All the Google Apps add-on packages should be there. Now, if you don't want to care about rooting, just skip to timestamp on screen where we skip all this and we go into the initial boot. All right, let's root our device. All right, to root the device, go to Magisk Manager or magics.com, and we're gonna grab version 25 of the Magisk Manager. So if you scroll down on the page till we see any version of 25, hit download file, download file here, and then once it comes up, just rename it to .zip instead of APK, and then save it at our SD card. Once it's saved on the SD card, eject your SD card out of your computer, Plug it back into your phone, go to storage, and remount the SD card. Once you remount the SD card, go to install, tap on the zip file we just put on, and then swipe to flash. If you're getting errors with the flash, go back to the website and download an older version of that 25, but version 25 of the Magisk's Manager is supposed to be the correct version for Lineage OS 19. But at the end, if you still have any issues with this, just comment down below and we'll see what these issues are. And then once it's done flashing, you're all good to go. You can go ahead and reboot the device and get into its initial boot. Now, people have said it takes around 15 minutes for it to actually install onto the phone. For me, it didn't take that long and the initial boot up was actually fairly quick. Now, once you install it, just go through the setup process and you should be good to go. I just downloaded the Magix APK app and this is version 27, but it will check if we're rooted and we're rooted. Everything's good to go. 
Google is downloading their stuff. And that's about it. Lineage OS on our HTC One M8. Before we end the video, there's one more thing I'm going to bring up, and this is our little extra section. After using Lineage OS 19 for a bit, I ended up downgrading to Lineage OS 16, which runs Android 9. Lineage OS 19 was very buggy, and it seems to be very resource heavy, which isn't really good for an older device such as this one. If you're experiencing any issues like downloads not working, UI lag, or even bad battery life, I would suggest downloading to an older version of Lineage OS using the same steps as we just have gone through during this tutorial. Just make sure you download the correct Mind the Gap zip if you want the Google Apps package. The Magisk Manager 25 actually works pretty well with Lineage OS 16, so you can actually keep that downloaded. Any other issues that I found with Lineage OS 19 was pretty much just stated. Some interesting bugs here and there, laggy UI, and downloads not working. The internet was also very spotty, but it wasn't the connection, it was more of just how the phone was actually receiving it. Most of these can be fixed just by downgrading to a more stable and more compatible version of Lineage OS. If you have any issues, let me know down in the comment section below. And if you want a more official ROM, I would suggest trying to make it yourself. If I get the opportunity, I'll make a tutorial on how to actually create an official ROM on your own computer. There is a few set requirements to actually build it yourself, but we may end up making that video. And that is our tutorial for the HTC One M8 of Lineage OS. If you had any issues with this tutorial, let me know down in the comment section below. Like if you like, dislike, dislike it, and I'll see you all in the next one.